Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a demo video. Uh, I'm Cuffy of the Standard DM. Uh, this is a Foundry module review video. This uh, review is going to be a one for Perfect Vision. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the options available and show you it in, in progress and how it works on the on a scene. Um, Overall, Perfect Vision is a module that modulates the use of things like dark vision in different one in different game systems. I'm using this in this version for um, Fifth Edition D and D. I'll show you how it's set up, and it, what it does it allows you to colorize um, how characters with dark vision can see the map, so you can simulate dark vision in comparison. The main thing to know with perfect vision uh, for 5th edition is that dim light uh, is dark vision. And when you see a tokens uh, sheet, uh, the vision options, the, your first thought is, oh, okay, if we've got dark vision, give them bright light, uh, bright vision. Just That just gives them the full normal vision. The way this works uh, for the vision, you can see it here that it says dim light in darkness contributes to dim light vision looks like in darkness. So the G yeah, so this is how it all works. So you can see here the options we have are all the different ones in the fifth edition D and D. It sets these uh, as standard. So dim vision in darkness uh, makes it monochrome. Uh, dim vision in dim light gives you bright light and bright vision in darkness gives you bright light um, so, those. so what you can do here is you can set the color so set it as white so you can see it says here that if it's set to white monochrome vision is grayscaled um, but what I do is I'm going to set it to an infrared so you can see how it how it looks. So this will give it a red tone. So if I save this, so you can see here I've set this screen, this scene to be quite dark. Um, if I set click on start mic, this is what they see. So Brillo has um, is a snurf nibbling. So he has a stronger. Um, he has 120 foot dark, uh, dark vision, so as you can see here, he can see everything that you can see is now coloured red, allowing him to see um, basically everything around him. Uh, I do set most of my players with, so those races without dark vision, I tend to just give them like a five foot around, because otherwise it's annoying as fuck for the player. Uh, you walk into a dark screen scene and literally you see nothing instantly. Um, so rather than that, I just give them like a five foot area. I might l loosen that down to make it like a two or three foot area. But what it does, it just gives them a little bit of range so they can see if there's something next to them. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it gives them that tint. Uh, if we go to the to vision settings on here, you can see default. Uh, it's got a marker and you can change go on here and change it as if I want to make it white for him. Um, you can change it, so I update this token now. You can see this is the default I usually use as white, so it now shows you that there. Uh, obviously it won't show you colour, but the whole point of dark vision is you don't see in pure colour um, whatever you're going to be in dark vision. Uh, fifth edition rules you should see in grayscale. These two don't have anything, so let's say this thing of thin again. Um, again, you can saturate that and change it. So if we go back to perfect vision, change the color, so I'm gonna go a bit back to white as my default, which I like to use. Otherwise, you can pick a colour. So if there's a colour on the map, you, you think, actually, I want my characters to see in this. Uh, this is quite nice to allow you 
different colorations. Um, so if you wanted somewhat, say, a race to see in infrared, or from your sp- perspective, race to see in, um, say, almost like simulated night, night vision goggles, you can put like a green tone. Uh, it's gone back to there. But what this does is it just gives you the aura, as you can see. Uh, if I click on Stat Mike, who is a Dragonborn, he has no night, no dark vision. Because I give him a five foot aura, he can only see the zombie. He cannot see his comrade Brillo, who is over here. Whereas if I click Brillo, Brillo can see everyone. Um, and again, if you wanted to. Uh, change it to vision. I believe you can probably. I don't know if you can actually saturate it any further. But yeah, this is kind of so you just set a dim vision here. Uh, so this is literally how you set dark vision for play people. There you go. Oh, let's do that. If you go to there, vision. Your best way actually is to go through. Um, here and then go prototype token because what this does it does it for all versions if you do a token on the map what will happen is it will do that um, for only that token so if you move that token to another script another scene uh, and drag and drop the character from the from the uh, menu it won't have those details fixed because those are fixed only for that token uh, so yeah, you can see all these, all these different options. So if we go back to the start mic on this one, what I'll do is reduce his sight to say 2.5. I don't know if it'll let me do parts. Yeah, so you do that. He, now, he cannot see someone who's five foot away. He's got a much limited range. You can see someone, so if he was there, he'd see the next them. Uh, but the vision, the way vision works in in Foundry Core is a little bit strange. I mean, technically, he should be able to see that token there, but I think it's because his vision doesn't cover, so 50%. If I go there, yeah, I'll just see it. But corner to corner, doesn't show it. A little bit strange, but it is what it is. Uh, where's Brillo? Yeah. Uh, but that's perfect, perfect Vision. It's a really good module. That sort of thing. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, don't think it brings anything else in. It may bring some scene stuff in. Can't remember if the scene vision is default or not. I like unrestricted stuff. I believe that's all default. Um, but obviously you can set these limitations and stuff for it when you're using dark vision. And then what will happen is if I bring the dark vision darkness level back up to here, you'll see, I think I still see there. I think the other way it doesn't work like that is I think if you have no darkness then they should but to see as per normal. Yeah. It's a little bit funky, I need to figure out how to do it properly, but as you can see uh, colour it's all bright. So you can see the coloured map when it's all sunlight. Um, you can tie things to this, but yeah, um, I'm just messing around now. Uh, that's Perfect Vision. It's a simple module. I would highly recommend it for any D&D game, uh, Fifth Edition, or even any other ones. Uh, it has those options on there. I said you can amend it for each character and make it just that little bit of um, range for you. Um, Alright, I hope this is helpful. Um, please 
let me know if you did. If there's anything you want to know about the module, or if you have any modules you want to see me cover, uh, or anything you want to see me cover in relation to Foundry, please let me know. Um, but yeah, if you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.